Welcome to the next episode of Two Derby Nuts, brought to you by Stock Car Derby. Now, many of you sit down and say, I want to make a great looking car, but I just don't know what to make. This episode, we're going to talk a little bit about how we came up with some of the ideas and ways that maybe you can uh, think of a, a cool looking car to make. And speaking of that, Stock Car Derby has a national design contest that you can enter. If you go to stockcarderby.com, Click on the National Design Contest, and it has all of the rules for you to submit up to three photos of your car. And we will be accepting submissions through the end of April, and prizes will be awarded in May. So Jason, you've got a lot of great looking cars here. And we were exactly just chatting before we came on about how you were thinking of what you wanted to make. Yeah. Um... So when, when uh, I used to do it with my kids, uh, especially my, my oldest son, like technology's kind of changed on, on how I went about um, coming up with some of these ideas. But we used to actually go and he had a bin full of, uh, you know, like Matchbox or Hot Wheels cars. And we would just look through that for ideas. And it wasn't always like, I want to make this car. It was often, uh, well, I like the front end of this car and I like the roof on this car and I like the taillights on this car or the wheels on this car or whatever. And we would kind of try and come up with something. And, uh, you know, one of the things I, I used to do was uh, I would take, take, I took a block of wood and a piece of paper and a ruler, and I actually um, measured out and drew to scale um, a, a template. So basically, you know, I, you had this view of the car, and then I would, you know, draw this view of the car and, and maybe the top of the car. Um, and so I'd have these different views on a piece of paper, and then I made copies of that. And then I'd just take a pencil and sketch over top of it so that I knew that it would fit this block yeah you know i'd say okay well you know we shaved a little off here added a little here took off a little here um and i actually got a point like when when i had a, um, a post in stockade i made copies for all the boys and we would sit there and, and just play around with some ideas and it was called brainstorming so we brainstormed some different ideas and just sketched some things out and uh later on it got to the point where um you know i would do a lot of research online looking at photos of things and you know like if i got an idea in my head i'm going to make that could I pull that off? Um, and especially if you're trying to make something that looks like something, it's good to have. Uh, obviously, if you have an actual physical thing to base it off of, like, uh, you know, this particular car here uh, was a 68 Mustang. I actually had an old plastic model kit of a 68 Mustang that I was able to have in front of me and, and kind of take a ruler and, and measure and, and kind of get some ideas of, of the dimensions of it and then try and replicate that in this car. So, you know, I think source material is a big thing. Uh, if you can't find, you know, like one of my kids, when I, when I did Lightning McQueen, one of my kids had a toy car of Lightning McQueen. So I could actually hold it in my hand and kind of turn it around. And, yeah, and I've, I've done that a lot. I've done that a lot too. I'll yeah. go to the toy store and actually buy, I bought a bus. <laughs> I, I, I literally bought okay, that a, is a sickness box, if you're buying box stuff. car. <laughs> Same thing with the, the fire engine. And I use that. In fact, I, um, I don't even know, I might have pulled the ladders for this off of that Matchbox car that, <laughs> that I purchased. I had a camper and that was a big part of, uh, you know, my kids growing up as we would go camping a lot, but it was a pop-up and I didn't know how to make a pop-up as a derby car. So that's where I kind of inspired to make a motor home, you know, the full blown motor home from it. How, how you know you said that uh, it, the, you wanted to make something easy with the lawnmower mm -hmm. same thing there was one year that I was really getting uh, behind in time and you know I always would uh, chastise might be the right word maybe too strong a word <laughs> of some of my friends oh I don't have time and it's like no you just didn't make it a priority because when you have a disease like this <laughs> you you just can you you make sure that you find the time but I was running out of time and like, what am I going to do? I need to make something that won't take as many hours. And I was eating an ice cream sandwich and it's like, let's do that. And I thought it would be, you know, quite simple and easy to make. So that that's how I was actually inspired. I was just sitting there uh, eating, eating the sandwich. And that's where I came up with the idea for that. And same thing. I kind of went along with the, um, the, the same motif. It was a couple of years later. Again, I didn't have as much time. This one I lost a wheel I've got to find. So I made some creamsicles and you, you, you think of like Jason said he had the, he has the 
self-imposed rule that it has to have wheels in real life. Uh, I, I do not, and this was very easy to make. Uh, even put popsicle sticks in the in the back end. Is it, what are some uh, other creative, you know, you said your wife was involved in some of the designs of uh, getting you. How did you, when did you come up with the design for Derby? Oh, or Derby. Derby. Derby? <laughs> Um, yeah, this was one of the later ones, um, you know, after I, I learned some different things, uh, this is certainly not something I would have attempted, uh, year one. Um, I, I probably wouldn't have thought something like this was possible the, the, the first couple times I made a car with, with the kids or even by myself. Um, so it was sort of, you know, evolved as, as I tried some ideas on some different things. Um, it, it was sort of basically like once I got this one, like once I figured out how to do some of the, the curves and different things. Then eventually I got to the point where it's like, yeah, I can, you know, now that I learned how to do that, I can you know, just keep pushing, pushing the envelope. Um, so that's one thing that don't get discouraged if the first year you make a car, it doesn't look exactly like what you want. Um, this was not my first year car. This was probably like my, one of my last year cars that I made. Um, so uh, well, Jason, Jason works at a company. He actually does a lot of modeling with clay and other things, uh, terracotta, right? Yeah. A, a lot of what, so he does a lot of creativity professionally. So yeah, don't be discouraged if your Herbie doesn't come out like his, Yeah. but it, you know, we, we actually in our design contest last year had a Herbie and it, it looked great, uh, but continue to press on because you'll continue to get better. As I had talked about in the first episode, teachable moments, it's not going to be the, exactly what you want the first time may not be the fastest car if you're going for speed but you get better the more you try you need to keep going you need to not give up in that aspect now tell me a little bit about the the soapbox car how, how did you come up with that design um yeah this was one of the years that, that i was trying to go with something simple um and i was kind of inspired uh, i'm going to date myself here of course they were old when when i was a kid watching uh we used to watch the little rascals if you watch the little rascals, oh, yeah. kid. and you know the little rascals never had any money and stuff, so they were just building things out of junk. So they used to build these, you know, these these little go kart, you know, race car things that you just you know ride down the hill, and they just make it out of just junk. And you know they'd have like a wooden crate and you know just wheels that they they took off of a baby carriage or something, and uh, you know they'd have like tin cans for headlights and different things. So I, I kind of wanted to make something that that sort of looked like that. So. Yeah, a lot of my cars were inspired by things that I've seen, you know, um, right. like a lot of these are kind of, like I said, iconic cars. Like, um, you know, I know a lot of kids like to make like the Batmobile because everybody knows like yes. the Batmobile, you know, you want to make something cool that people are like, hey, that's the, um, and, and that's a fun thing to do. Sometimes it can be a challenge though because everybody knows what it's supposed to look like. Um, yeah. So it, it can be tough to, to make it look like that. And, well, it depends uh, on, you know, if you're talking Adam West Batman versus... Sure. <laughs> sure. But even things like the school bus, like everybody knows what a school bus is supposed to look like. Um, yeah. So it, it can be a challenge sometimes. How do I make it look as much like that as I want? And, and a lot of times you have to decide ahead of time, like how crazy am I going to get with this? Um, obviously with some of mine, it, it was pretty crazy. Um, it doesn't mean you we're have nuts. to. Yeah. Yeah. We're done. Um, um, yeah. So yeah. just there, there's so many different ways that you can go from a block of wood like this to you know many of these cars that you see before you and just think outside the box a little bit and if you need some design ideas go to our website at stockcarderby.com and scroll down and click on how to make a car and in there there's many ideas that we're uploading uh, pictures from past winners of our contest and others and send us photos uh, of your cars and we'd like to maybe display those on some future episodes and if you have any questions uh please feel free to email me i'll put my email address on the screen it is s at csbministries.org and you can ask questions for future episodes thank you